the first step is to create the site and add the store. You can create a new site or add the store to an existing site. If creating a new site, you can choose from one of our existing native store templates, which already have the store added. The next step is to add products. To do so, you'll go to Manage Products and click Add Product. Start by adding a title and description for the product. Then add product images. You can choose from our library or add your own. Next, add the price and optionally a compare at price if you want to list the items on sale. If needed, you can add options to your products such as size and color. We'll add two options for the color of this lamp. Next, you can add a product SKU. Then you can edit the product SEO by clicking the three dots and editing the page title, description, and slug, which will override the default product page URL. Lastly, you'll select a product status. The options are draft, which saves the product in the catalog but will not make it visible, preview and editor, which allows you to see a preview of the product but it will still not be visible, and active, which makes it available for shoppers to view. We'll choose active and then click save. Great job, you've added your first product to the store. You'll repeat these steps for each additional product you want to add. In addition to adding products, you can also add products to categories and subcategories, which allow you to structure your products in a way that helps shoppers more quickly find what they need. For our purposes, we'll add a lighting category and include our lamp in it. We'll also add a category image and click Save. Next, you'll want to connect to payment gateways and set up shipping and taxes. But before we do that, let's add our client's business info. From the site overview, click Settings and select Business Info. Enter the business name, address, time zone, and currency, and then click Save. Now let's connect the store to a payment gateway. To configure your desired gateway, navigate to Payment Gateways. Due to native e-commerce currently offers Stripe, which includes options for Apple Pay and Google Pay, PayPal, and PayPal Express Checkout. To configure, click Connect Account next to the option you want to use. From there, follow the on-screen prompts to connect your account. Note that you must have an existing account with the payment gateway you're going to use in order to connect it. After connecting the payment gateway, it's time to set up shipping. Click Add Shipping Zone and enter a name. Next, select your country and region from the Shipping Locations drop-down menu. Then click Add Shipping Method. Fill out the name field. And note that this is the name that your shoppers will see when selecting their shipping method. Next, you can optionally fill out the estimated delivery time and minimum order value fields. Lastly, select your desired shipping rate from the How Shipping is Calculated drop-down menu. When you're done, click Save. Click Create to save your new shipping zone. Now, let's set up the store's taxes. To configure tax zones and rates, click on Taxes and then Add Tax Zone. Select your country and region and complete the tax name, tax number, and tax rate fields. The tax name and tax number fields are what appear on your invoice. Once you have this information filled in, click Save. If desired, you can add discounts to help promote your client's store. Click Discounts from the Settings menu, then click Add Discount and complete the fields in the Discount General Information section, Promotion section, and the Trigger section. When you're done, click Create. Now it's time to customize your product pages. To do so, click Product Page under Store Pages. From here, you can edit the product using the Native Duda Editor. It's easy to add sections and edit widgets to customize the product page to suit your client's needs. You can also update any connected widgets. Click on any widget using connected data and you'll see the options listed for what's available to use from the drop-down menu. Any widget you successfully connect to a data field in the product catalog will display the connected data icon. You're now ready to publish the site and promote your client's new store. Once the orders start coming in, go to Store Management and click Manage Orders. This is where you'll find all the order details. And that's it. Great work. We hope to see you building amazing stores on Duda Native e-commerce.